So in this voting system, are any of our players dictators? Do any have veto power? Are there any dummies? And so let's start with the idea of a dictator. So a dictator, uh, is somebody who can make the decision all on their own. Uh, in other words, they can reach the quota, they can make the decision, uh, without anyone else's approval. In this case, all of our players have power or weight that is less than the quota, and so no, there are no dictators in this particular weighted voting system. Uh, to see one that does have a, a, a dictator, consider this case, uh, where we have a quota of 10 and the, uh, the individual players have weights of, uh, sorry, have weights of 11, uh, 2, 2, 2, something like this. In this case, player 1 all by themselves can reach quota, and so player 1 gets to make all the decisions. Uh, player 1 has, ha is a dictator in that voting system. Okay, so now let's look at the question of, do any of these players have veto power? So veto power means their support is necessary for the quota to be reached. In this case, we can see that 6 and 3 makes 9, and another 3 makes 12, 12, and another 2 makes 14. And so even if, even if all four of these people got together, they cannot reach quota, they cannot reach, make a decision without this person's support. And so right away, we can see that this person, uh, has veto power, has veto power. Uh, so they might not be the only one, though. So let's look. If, if this player and these three p players got together, they would have total weight of 7, plus 3 is 10, plus 3 is 13, plus 2 is 15, and that still would not reach quota. So this player also has veto power. The only way that quota can be reached is to have both of these people on board. Uh, otherwise, the, the, they will not be able to reach quota. So in this case, both of those players have, have, veto power. So now to look at dummies, a dummy is a player whose vote is never essential for a group, or sometimes called a coalition, uh, to reach quota. So notice here, if s these three players got together, that's player 1, player 2, and player 3, that together they add up to 16, and so that they can reach quota. Likewise, player 1, player 2, and player 4 could reach quota. And so neither player 3 or player 4 has veto power, right? They, uh, you know, they're interchangeable, and so neither of them is essential to, uh, being able to reach quota, so neither of them has veto power. But both of them, uh, can make the difference. In this case, if player 2, uh, 2 and player 1 and player 2 are just sitting around, player 3 can come along and get them to quota. So they could be essential to reaching quota. Now if instead, we were to imagine player 1, player 2, uh, and player 5 sitting around, uh, they only add up to 15, which does not reach quota. And so they're not winning at that point. Okay, so player 2 is not important there because it's not even a winning coalition. What if we had player 1, player 2, player 3, and player 5? Then that adds up to 18, but, you know, if player 2 was gone, they'd still reach quota, right? They'd still have 16, and so player 5 is never essential in a coalition. Another way of saying this is that they're never critical, uh, in a coalition, or in a group. And so player 5 here, player 5, the 2, uh, is a dummy in this, uh, in this, in this voting system, weighted, weighted voting system.